Good morning, it's Pamela. I had some things running through my mind and my heart as well this coming up Mother's Day that our adult children, we really got to kind of sit back and say, are you accountable? And uh, through life, you know, that's the biggest lesson. And, you know, it's funny how we have to keep taking these tests over and over and over again. Like a recipe, you perfect it. But just to keep blaming other people for your actions or things that happen or trying to overthink, wonder why I did that. Well, because you made a mistake. And uh, if you're not accountable and say, look, you know, and it's always really healing if you can do that in front of somebody else. Because then they're also able to say, you know, I blew it too. Or, yeah, I, I feel you. Or, you know, anything that you want to say, new talk, new words, I feel you. Or, hey, I understand I'm with you on your page. You know, it always feels really great to know that you are accountable for your mistakes. You didn't blame your parents because at some point it's just ridiculous that people do that. If you make a mistake, don't feel so much shame. We make mistakes. They might be in different areas. One could be this, one could be that, but it's all a mistake. And it all can be just a learning process because like I said, you will take that test again. And I believe that God could be giving you that test because you failed. So come forth, say that you're wrong, be accountable, but not with the shame and uh, learn. And then people are usually easier to open up and say, wow, I made some mistakes too. It wasn't quite like yours, but it was at that degree. Whether it's, you know, good Lord, you know, going to jail, uh, not going to jail, uh, just crying or saying you're sorry to people that really have caused a problem and distance with you because they still are blaming. Stop blaming. Be accountable. Step up and be the person you are because actually in that moment, you made that choice. Your parent wasn't there. Somebody wasn't actually there smacking your hand saying, don't do that. It was actually you. You can't keep blaming other people. It's your painting. It's your voice. It's your actions. It's your fingerprint. Okay? Only one of you. So let's just kind of develop some uh, accountability skills. I know I've tried to blame other people, overthought things. Why do I do this? Or why did I make that mistake? But I always go back to this word accountability. Stop blaming. There's a lot of strength in admitting you're wrong. Because then you can kind of move on. So it's Miss Cool talking about accountability today. Stop blaming other people for things that you did in that second, in that moment. It wasn't your parents' fault. It was actually your fault. And uh, start over. Wipe yourself off. Get up and say, hey, let's do it again. Keep trying. All right. God bless you. And uh, let's be accountable. All right. You know when to change lanes. You know when to do the right things and smile and just have a great day. Bye now.